hello everyone once again you're welcome to gcl tutorials yeah thank you for watching it's been a great time coming your way with another interesting lesson again we've been talking about issues of growth and then we've been looking at how our numbers increase and or decrease and we are focusing on something else um this time around we are looking at uh, the growth in our numbers in terms of the people living within a certain geographical area or a place so Kindly join me as we look at the population growth and its related terms, and you are going to like it. If this is your first time you are watching a video like this um, or any of my videos, uh, if you have not subscribed yet, I want you to do that now. Scroll down and click on the su subscription button. If you touch the no notification bell, anytime there is a new video, you have access to it or you get notified and you watch, share with people, like, and let's make our lessons um, interesting and easy to recall all right so let's look at something on population growth the related terms we'll be talking about a lot of terms here and i'll help you break them down as we put across the definitions and then you'll be able to write them in simple terms and they are nothing difficult at all so let's get into that now all right so our first term is going to be on the population the word population itself so when we talk about population, it refers to the total number of people living within a geographical area at a specific period of time. So that is a simple definition for population. When you look at our numbers, look at our birth rates, number of newborns or new births, and then the deaths that have occurred, people who have come into our country, the immigrants, and those who have gone out of the country, the emigrants, all these contribute to the, uh, the the number I'm talking the total number I'm talking about. So every country has a, an exercise it conducts, and that uh, exercise comes out with the records. Okay, and then they are able to know the total number. So when you look at our growth so far, you realize that Ghana has grown um, at a certain rate, and we'll go into that term too as well and define it. Okay, so. Just understand population in simple terms, that it is the total number of people. The geographical area is a place, okay? Now, they have a specific period. So when you come to Ghana, um, what we call the census, that's the exercise I'm talking about, the head count of the people. So every 10 years, we come out with the numbers and we know how we have grown, the pattern. And then we study the age groups, we study those who have died and then the numbers that we've lost, maybe through road accidents and all the other um, incidents or occurrences. So we look at this, and the last one that was conducted was in 2021, because we should have done it in 2020. 2020 was an election year, and uh, that year too, because of the pandemic, the COVID-19, um, there had to be restrictions, and because of that, it was postponed to the following year. So after that census, we saw our figure around 31 or about 31.07 million people. So looking at this, when you see uh, where we started from. So if, if we are to go back and look at 1931, when we were around 3.2 uh, million, okay, see where we were now. Let's do a fast fast forward and see 1960. So 1966.64 million, we, 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 we increased to this number. And within a period of 60 years, within a period of 60 years, that is coming to 2020, 31.07. Okay, 31.07. So this particular figure, so you can see the, the increase. That shows that we've seen a growth of 368.3%. Yeah, so when you do the calculations, you know uh, or see how we've grown. From 1931, 1960, um, around the year 2000, we're around 18.4 million. So I'm just giving examples of the total number of people looking at Ghana, the situation here. Okay, um, when we got to 2010, when the census was held, the figure that came out, so normally the 
PHC or the population and housing census, they do the um, head count and then um, they collaborate with the Ghana Statistical Service and then they will come out with the data. They look at the age groups, they look at the immigration rates, like, uh, emigration rates and all those things. So 24.6 million. So you can also see the increase here. So we keep growing. Now, we can have these numbers in percentages looking at the rate at which we grow. So that takes us to our next term or next um, a, a key word that we have to, or words that we have to define um, here. Let's look at population growth, population growth. So that's the next one. So when we talk about the population growth, we are looking at the increase and then the decrease in the number or the total number of people living within a geographical area um, at a specific period of time. So when you look at that, it, 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 it's nothing different from the definition of population. Or what you have to note is the word increase and then the word decrease. So increase, decrease. That is what we um, have in that definition. So you just put it there and then construct your sentence beautifully. That is what you write over there for population growth. So when you look at this, um, experts will say that if you have a, a, a graph, you want to show this, you have um, increasing number and then a decreasing number. So if we want to uh, mark it properly, you see what I'm doing over here. This area is called optimum level or optimum population level. And they call this side increasing. So increasing. So when the numbers are increasing and then here, the numbers are decreasing. So economists or experts have a way of interpreting this. So they look at this area. And they say that, okay, here is um, underpopulation. And then this is overpopulation. Okay, so at this level, they said that this is the best favorable level. Optimal, optimum, the highest level when it reaches its peak. What is happening here is that the underpopulation is just describing the situation whereby we have more resources but the number of people um, is less, okay? So it means there are more resources, a small number of people, which means that there's a possibility that those people living in that particular country or geographical area will waste their resources because they are in abundance. And when you come to the top here, this is where you have equal number or the, 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 the resources meet the number of the people equally. So there is no problem at all. Many experts will like the situation to be like this. But when it crosses down after the peak, then it gets to overpopulation, then there's a problem. So here you have a lesser number of resources, but more number of people. And when that happens, there will be scarcity and then all the issues that have to do with rapid population growth will begin to um, uh, germinate in these areas or grow or um, we start experiencing such situations in these areas. So that is how experts want to... Uh, interpret the growth. So how do we get the growth? It is very simple. So uh, by, by getting the total number, they will just need the total number of bets. Okay. So that is a bet rate. And then they will subtract the total number of deaths out of that. And then when they, they are done, then they will add it to the total number of people who have come into our country the immigrants or immigration, then they will subtract those who have left the country. That is the emigrants. So when they do this, we can get the what the total number. So always we are looking at uh, the number of deaths. Then we subtract the number of deaths those we've lost, and then we add it to those who have come into the country, and then um, subtracted by the number of people who have left the country. So that is it. Okay. So 
if we want to express this in percentage, then we go to our next term, which is population growth rate. So when we're defining population growth, we put in the words increase and decrease. Growth does not have to do with only increase because if there is a problem and then our, uh, the numbers are dropping, that must be a concern. So we look at that, we check that. All right. So population growth rate and rate has to do with numbers or in percentages or figures in percentages. Okay. So how do we define that? So this is defined as what? The percentage of increase. So there you just construct your sentence and then put in the word um, percentage at the appropriate place. And then you get the uh, percentage of increase and decrease in the total number of people living within a geographical area at a specific period of time. Simple as that. You are done with your definition for population growth rate. Then when it comes to, so I, I, I'll, I'll tell you how this is also calculated. So what um, experts or mathematicians do is that they take the um, present population and then they subtract the past population in it. So if we are doing year on year, and then we pick um, last, um, last year, which was 2021, if we pick that figure, that was the past, okay? And then the current one, where we are around 32 million, okay? Yeah, 32 million. So if we pick that figure, we then, we then subtract what you got in 2021, out of it okay so present minus past so 2021 that we are around 31.7 million then we pick this one 32.3 million and then we subtract it from it then you divide whatever you get the difference over the past population over the past population so that should give you the growth rate when you are done you want to express it in percentage, you multiply whatever you get by 100. You multiply whatever you get by 100. So this is a simple formula for calculating the population growth rate. That's simple. So when we get our numbers, again, uh, currently we are around 2.15, 2.09, and then the number keep to 2.1, 2.09, we are around this growth rate year on year and we are seeing um, an increase there was a time the number dropped when you look at what happened between 2019 2020 there is a drop there because there were restrictions our borders were closed and then a lot of people weren't coming in um, but we had an increase uh, cl uh, by the close of um, 2019 because we had a year of return where a lot of people were coming into the country people in the diaspora or outside the that came into the council, our numbers increased a bit. So after that, then the COVID hit so many countries, it affected the population. That is a migration or movement of people in and out of the country. Okay, so that is also the factor. When we look at these figures, they help us. So why the census is always conducted uh, by the uh, PAC and then the data is given out is to when the Ghana Statistical Service is done with their data, it helps the government to also plan. And then it's for policy making. So we know the number of people who are in their own houses. We know the number of people who are in rented apartments, the beds that we are having. Um, are we having a, a, a promising labor force, potential labor force, people who come and sustain the economy? How many people are um, pensioners, those who are above 60? old age then we look at that number who are the working force what is the percentage how many numbers then we look at that then we look at health issues is there a number of hospitals that we need to build to cater for all these people is there a number of affordable housing that needs to be put up to um, um, take care of the growing population what about food food security production and all these things so that is why we study these things uh, or figures or numbers and then they help uh, uh, leaders or political leaders or whoever is in power, policy makers, to come out with the best uh, policies in order to make our uh, 
uh, growth or development very sustainable okay so the study of all these things or concepts that i've talked about is demography so demography is the term used for the so it's a quantitative study the quantitative study of a uh, human population the growth the births the deaths migration and so on and so forth then how it affects our um, living okay all right when you look at this if the numbers keep growing very fast then we use a term for it and that is rapid population growth so it takes us to another term rapid population growth so what is a rapid population rapid means fast so you just put in the word fast there in the definition so how do you define it rapid population growth is a fast rate at which the total number of people living within a geographical area at a specific time increases increases that is as simple as that so you just write that and then make sure your spellings are right because if you are presenting these in the exam the examiner will be expecting that you use um or, uh, correct forms or choices of words and then also make sure that the spellings are right okay so these are our terms and um, i believe you got something from this lesson as we move forward we'll break down other concepts and then we'll look at that in other lessons so if you have a question about the lesson or the video just put it in the comment section and then um, it will be addressed in the next video and i believe that you have uh, prepared uh, for your final is especially the candidates out there i'm still wishing you the best keep studying keep watching share this video like and subscribe as well if you haven't done that and i'll meet you again with another interesting lesson thanks for watching gcl tutorials bye for now